Hey everybody, Chad here, and today I wanted to talk to you about CNC machines. If you've watched my videos in the past, you've seen that I had a X car from Inventables. I was one of the many uh, YouTubers that got a free one, and it was awesome that they did that. It was great promotion for them, and it was great experience for all of us. And since then, I have actually gotten rid of it and upgraded to a CNC Shark by Next Wave. And I'll tell you a little bit about that. And the reason I'm doing this is there's a couple of things here. One, I think I'm one of very few people who have actually had both machines and can give you a real honest comparison. And two, I want to kind of introduce this machine because I've got some cool projects coming up and I don't want it to just be all of a sudden there's a machine that you haven't seen before in my shop. So I wanted to take a minute, kind of compare the two, and then I want to give you a quick rundown of this machine and what it has to offer. So the quick rundown on the Inventables X-Carve was I was one of many YouTubers, and if you watch very many YouTube videos, you've probably heard this a thousand times. Inventables contacted me and said, hey, do you want a free CNC machine to use in your videos? And of course the answer was yes. So I got the X-Carve. Uh, I put it together. It was kind of a cool process to put it together because I'd never done anything like that. It took a long time. And then I went to use it. Now, I want to say this very specifically. I don't think that the X-Carve is meant to be run all day, every day in production. And that's what I wanted because I'm not just a hobbyist. This is my job. So I need to be able to set the machine up, get it started, and then go do something else while it's working and I didn't find I could do that with the X-Carve. I really struggled keeping it going and keeping it in tune. I had to constantly adjust belts and reset things and I just didn't think it was the machine for me. Now, if I was home in my garage and I cut a project you know, every couple of weeks or once a month, it would be awesome because it was low cost to get it. It was fairly easy to use. The software was all included and all that. So. It's not bad, I'm not putting it down at all. It just wasn't for me and it wasn't for my shop because I really don't wanna work on the CNC machine. I had no desire to tinker with it. I just wanted to set it up to cut and go. And so it wasn't for me and I, I did get rid of the X-Carve after a few months of, of playing with it and spending a lot of time on it. Now the reason I went with the CNC Shark by Next Wave is a friend of mine actually has this same machine and before I bought, I went over to his place and used it several times, uh, several weekends in a row. I spent a whole Sunday there just practicing with it and making sure it would do what I wanted. And, and I realized that it quickly, I quickly realized that it would do exactly what I needed. And that's set it up, turn it on and let it go. Now there's some very distinct differences between the two machines, the X-Carve and the CNC Shark. And it's kind of apples and oranges. It's hard to compare them because they're different machines and I think they have different target audiences. But one is, the first thing is probably the price. The X-Carve is fairly low cost and affordable. And although this is considered low cost in the CNC world, for your hobbyist, it's gonna be a little pricier, about three times as much. So that's a big barrier to entry. The other is space. Um, to have something like this. Although I did have the big X-Carve, this here is the HD3 extended bed and it's 63 inches long. Plus I actually have a little extra room for the computer and the control box. So it takes up even more room than the X-Carve did. So that's a big thing. Some of the main things that I really like about this machine over the X-Carve, and I'm sure that Inventables is working on them, um, is the software. Now this uses the Next Wave control software for the CNC, but the design software, VCarve Pro, is awesome. So I really love that. The Inventable software easel, although free and online, and they were constantly updating it, it just didn't have nearly the, the right tools to design really cool stuff, I thought. Um, and it's really just night and day difference in the, in the software. I will say the Inventables Customer service, I haven't seen anything better. Those guys take care of their customers better than any company I've ever seen, and they really deserve credit for that. So if you get a machine and you have trouble with it, man, they are there to help. So that was a really cool thing about Inventables, and I really hope I can work on other stuff with them in the future, because they really are a great company. So let me tell you about this machine, the new CNC that we put in the shop here. Uh, 
I'm just gonna give you a quick overview. If you want all the tech specs and whatever, go to nextwaveautomation.com and you can get all the details there because I know it's probably not that important, but this one, the one I'm using is the Shark HD3 extended bed. It's uh, 28 by 63 inches long. It's a big, pretty big machine and it has a cutting area of 25, I believe, by 50 and a Z of seven inches. So I can actually do quite a bit on this machine. It's pretty cool for that reason. I did opt for the uh, two horse water-cooled spindle here. These are the water lines. Um, and then I have the dust collection set up on it as well, where it has a dust collection boot that goes up underneath it and it's held magnetically. So that's what I went with. I do have the fourth axis, although I haven't, haven't tried it yet. I've got some plans for it in the near future, but it's just, I've been kind of getting used to the machine and getting it all exactly how I like. That was my quick overview of this machine and a comparison from the, the X-Carve to the Shark. If you have any questions about it and you're thinking of either one, please ask below and I'll, I'll do my best to answer everything. It's kind of a cool thing that I got to use both machines and see them. And like I said, it's really tough because they're kind of, I think they're meant for different people. So both good companies, X, er, Inventables and Next Wave. And I'm really happy to have this machine. I've really been doing a lot with it in a short amount of time. So you're gonna see a few more project videos and things like that coming up. And that's why I wanted to introduce you to it. So please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions on either machine, just shoot me an email or mention it below and I'll, I'll get back to you. And thanks, have a great day, guys.